so welcome back. Today I'm going to show you guys some shoes that I bought. Um, the previous vlog, not previous vlog, the vlog I'm filming just now will not have been up, so you guys won't have known. Um, I am quarantining. <laughs> Unfortunately. So, we'll see. Um, one of these shoes I actually needed to send back. I don't know if I can anymore. Um, but I also had to email them because it's, I don't, I don't like this website. Um, anyways, we're just going to go ahead and get started. I bought some Mook Lux. Those aren't the first ones I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you my teepees. I'm wearing them right now. They're so soft. I'm going to get another pair at some point. Um, not right now. I got these during... Around, you know, Black Friday, Cyber Monday time, um, because they are having a sale. Um, and it was, you get another something dollars off if you get the TPs with the McClux. And I got the waterproof ones, because why not, while, while they're on sale. So here they are. They're so, so cute. Actually, I just went out in the snow, because it's snowing right now. Can you see? It's snowing right now. Um... And yeah, so I might actually go back out and still a little later because, like, I'm already quarantining. I don't have to go to work tomorrow. Now I'm going to come back on Tuesday, though, so. <laughs> we'll see. Um, and then I'm also working. I'm not working on Wi-Fi here, so we'll see if this gets up in time for Tuesday. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, they're so comfy. They're so nice. They do um, have... A vegan version. I did not get the vegan version because I didn't like how they looked. Um, and these are indigenous own made from Canada. I wanted them done the traditional way as they do them. And so yeah, I just I got the normal ones and they are absolutely great. You can see the little tread on the bottom. There's another design. This is the teepee design on the bottom and I can't think of what the other one was um but yeah i just stepped out and it was really nice it was actually the snow out there right now is just is a little slippery but because i just went out <coughs> but yeah you can see it has a little waterproof here it's waterproof up to four inches and yeah these so these if i don't know if i mentioned these are you know oh the indoor <laughs> moccasins um they make an outdoor pair as well should i get an outdoor pair as well as another indoor one i don't know i'll think about it um but yeah and then right next to me these are the shoes i i wanted these shoes for like a whole fucking year and then they were 50 percent off for like holidays, they're like this, what is it? The autumn winter collection went on sale. So here they are, I'm gonna leave them in the bag right now cause you know, I'm a little ill. They're so, these are the, I, I believe the flower's name is pronounced uh, Bovelia. It's spelled like Bougainvillea, but I, I think it's actually pronounced Bovelia. Um, again, I didn't look it up before coming on here. Um, so yeah, I just tried them on the carpet so that I still try them. I originally just only tried on the left foot and the um, toe strap is too high. Like, I don't know why on earth they made it that way. It's like it's made for a swollen foot, like not even not not even a wide foot, not like if I have a swollen, like a really swollen foot is how high it is. It's not as bad on the right foot, um, but like my my foot just, just slides like right out and I'm like, what am I supposed to do with this? And I'm like, there was another pair that I think I would have liked better in person, the one with the butterflies on it, the papillion. And I was like, oh, I should have got that one because I think it was like $100 more. <laughs> um, but still cheaper than what these were originally. And I'm like, you know, I probably should have bought those. And then I was like, although those are open to two, so I might still be running into the same problem. Um, but so I went on the site to try and return it and I put in my code cause I didn't use an account cause it was saying I had an account. I was like, I don't remember making one. And then I was like, but you do. And then it wouldn't let me reset my password. And I was like, okay, whatever. And then 
So, I was like, whatever. I ended up using uh, Klarna because I had just bought my my nice puffer coat. Um, so I was like, oh yeah, it's fine. <coughs> and then through like the return process there, you have to notify them that a return has been initiated. And I'm like, well, you know, if I do end up keeping them, because like they're not, the shoe itself is really nice. I've heard good things about Aquazara all the time, but my foot slides through. And so like, I might be able to put like a, a pad on the front, but like, I don't like, that's not really comfortable to be honest, to have that extra pad in there when it's not needed. Um, but the, the way it is on the left foot, I still might have to go to a cobbler and be like, hey, can you tighten this? And it's just like, at that point, is it really worth it? I don't know. But yeah, so I had to email them to see if I can, you know, push through their term. But then they're like, oh, you know, that'll take at least 24 hours. And they're like, I don't think they would want the shoe returned within 15 days. And I was like, okay, you have to wait for it to be marked delivered in your account. So I, I got that notice that it's marked delivered. But then I went to return it and it was like, you don't have anything in return. And like, so I sent them an email, now I have to wait 24 hours. But also some quarantining, I left the box, the original shoe box that I need to send them back in at home. So it's just like, Did I play myself or do I just need to keep them? Like, cause like they are still nice. They're pretty. I do think they look better on the website um, initially, but like when I put it on my foot, I was like, yeah, you know, it's still really beautiful, still gorgeous. I have impeccable taste in shoes. Um, but I feel a little bit more like I would have liked the butterflies better. But then I was like, you know, I think the butterflies are like a, Felt, well, not felt, but like you know, the suede. <coughs> I think they're made out of suede too, so it may just be because it needs time to more time to open up from being squished in the box to look a little better. Um, but yeah, like the shoe on my foot, like it felt nice. It felt like nice and comfortable. I didn't go anywhere because I was just trying it on because my foot literally slid right through the moment I put it on. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens with these. Um, but yeah, and then the last shoe that I got were these boots. These are by, no, I don't know if it's Eero or Iro. I'm assuming Iro. Um, I wanted to show you these shoes before I scuffed up the leather because it was just so smooth and nice, but these are great. These are my first purchase from the Outnet. <coughs> which I heard of from Brittany from Pockets and Bows. She's great. Um, and so these I got on a discount from there. Um, what was it, two something? I think I paid. I think I ended up paying two something instead of whatever they were. They think they were originally like three something and I paid two. I don't remember, I'm not looking at the receipt. But this, like, these are really nice. Like, I don't know. Can you tell? Like, I don't know. Like, I've, I've been walking around. I, I've been using them. I went out and used them, but like, I should have showed you like when I first got them. Cause like, this is really nice leather. Like, it's nice. And like, even the hardware is nice. Like it's, you know, tarnishing a little, well not tarnishing isn't the word. It's, it's showing wear, <coughs> like a little soon, but uh, you know, walking on like asphalt and you know, all types of stuff, or whatever. Let's see if this one shows a little more. And I did wear them out. There was still snow on the ground when I wore them, so I stepped in, you know, some ice and <coughs> some sand and whatnot. Oh, why did I do that? There you go. But yes, these, um, the way that the heel is sloped like this, 
causes you to walk further on the ball of your feet. So if you like the look of these and you want to wear them, if you do not have a good center of balance, you can't buy these. I mean, you can. Um, it'll be good practice for you, I guess, but um, you, you do need to have a good center of gravity for these um, because they make you walk further on your ball. And so they're um, like, they're not hard to walk in, but it's gonna, you're, you're gonna feel it because you, <coughs> because of the slope, depending on like, you know, where your balance is, you're gonna lean back. You're gonna want to, and even when you dig your heel in, because it automatically sits like that, so you're just gonna, you know, like, like a rocking horse, really. Um, so you have to walk on the ball, which also pushes your feet further forward. So if you have wide feet, I don't recommend it because it's gonna shoot them into this point, which for me, I can, I don't have wide feet, I have regular feet, so I'm fine. Um, but yeah, that is a thing. <coughs> I did try them on with thick socks and like it's doable, but like not for a long period of time cause it's cause the way they push your feet so it's so tight. Cause I, I put it on and like, I just took it off and drove in my socks cause I was like, uh, -uh. Um, but it was cold out and like one layer of sock wasn't, wasn't good enough. So, uh, but yeah, so that's what I got. I was thinking about getting another pair, but I was like, well, can I just wait a minute? Cause you know, all this stuff, which is good that I waited since I had to be out of work for a week in this place is anyway. That's all. Let me know what you think. I would show you the uh, the Bavelias outside of the bags, but just because I'm over here coughing, like I don't want to do that since I need to get rid of them. Um, if I do end up having to keep them, I will, you know, let you know what I had to do to get them to stay on my feet because I do like them. It's just like that's super, super inconvenient and like not really worth the inconvenience for me to keep. So. Um, I'm gonna try and send them back and then you know, I just won't be out the money and I'll get some other pairs of shoes later <laughs> <coughs> Okay, see you guys Um, Tuesday. Yeah, I'm still gonna do Tuesdays. I was at a moment I was saying I was like, uh, oh, cuz sometimes I'm late in Tuesday, but then I was remembering, uh, you know Dear Jenna Marbles, how should I say it? ends up uh, supposed to be every Wednesday, sometimes Thursdays. I was like, that's funny. Um, but I think I'm still gonna try to do for Tuesdays and then whatever else I do around there will fall whenever it falls. Cause I'm still debating for my vlog if I wanna do like two drops of like several of the uh, categories in my vlog or if I just wanna like post a new section when I post a new section, so we'll see. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.